Kevin Manson from the EI team, Environmental Information, here at Niwa Christchurch. So what we're showing here is the uh, Ethernet NRT connected to the uh, BGAN MSAT terminal. You need to download the driver from Hughes um, to be able to talk to the, um, to the modem. So that's the first thing to do and to make sure that the network connection is set to auto detect on the laptop or whatever you're talking to the um, the BGN unit with and basically we're connected to the MSAT via the USB port um, and the nice thing about it is we can actually see the orientation and direction of the antenna so at the moment we're at 321 degrees at an angle of 32 degrees. You can get that information from the uh, website. Basically you just put in your coordinates and it will tell you what the angle and direction should be. And so you can confirm that on site. You can move the antenna around and this will change in real time and um, give you the direction and angle. The other nice thing is it shows you the actual uh, GPS location and the signal strength in real time. So at the moment you can see we're connected. Uh, normally when you're initializing or powering up the NRT it will go to a registered or register state first then to a registered before actually being connected. So if we can simulate that we'll just press the button on the front here and now the big end's just repowering. Okay, so here we go, it's starting up now. It's registering. We've got one power light on the MSAT. Okay, it's registered. It's found the network. Now it will go for a connection. There we go, connected. Okay, now if we initialize the NRT, um, this time you'll notice we're not seeing any syntax commands coming back. You can see here we've gone to narrow band, the signal strength has gone up, and we will be initializing. Okay, and you can see now we have a pass. So the Ethernet NRT has initialized, we have no syntax but we do get a pass, Just something to be aware of.